What's going on everyone? If you remember in the last video, I showed how to replace the timing belt on a Subaru EJ25 engine. In this video, I will show you how you can replace the head gaskets and how you can clean the head surface without needing to go to a machine shop. I found this method in a post on a Subaru forum. I'll post the link in the description box below. It requires a flat table, a sheet of glass, 320 grit sandpaper, and WD-40. Read the article after watching the video, it explains why you need a sheet of glass. This method won't work if your heads are warped, so if your engine overheated, it's probably a good idea to take the heads to a machine shop. But if your gaskets are just starting to leak like many Subarus, you can get away with this method. I tried it and it worked for me, but as always, do this at your own risk. I cannot guarantee anything, I'm just showing you how I did it and letting you know that it actually worked for me. Let's get started. First things first, I removed the valve covers. These came off a lot easier than from the other motor. Then I used a long half inch ratchet and a tube for leverage to crack loose the head bolts. These should be loosened in several steps in reverse tightening order to avoid warping the heads. I loosened just a quarter turn the first time and then half a turn the second time. By this point, they were loose enough to remove completely. Once the head was off, I removed the old gasket and used a new razor blade to gently scrape off the stuck gasket material, being very careful not to scratch the surface. Once it's clean, the new gasket can go on. Now we get to the fun part. I had a roll of 400 grit sticky sandpaper for a palm sander that I stuck to the clean glass. I sprayed the paper with WD-40 and I wiped down the cylinder head surface with a clean rag and WD-40 to remove the loose material and dirt. Then I started sanding. If the paper rips, it's no good and needs to be replaced. Between paper replacement, I cleaned the glass. I replaced the paper four times before I was happy with what the head surface looked like. Finish by wiping the surface with a clean rag and some degreaser to have a clean mating surface. And here's how the heads turned out. This is before sanding. This is after the first round. Second. Third. And finally, this is what the head surface looks like after the fourth round of sanding. I'm pretty happy with how this cleaned up. We've been driving the car for a while now with no leaks, no smoking, no missing oil or coolant. I'd say this did the job it was supposed to do and pretty well. Once the heads are clean and the block surface is clean, you can reinstall the heads. It's highly recommended to use new bolts as these are torque to yield bolts, meaning they stretch when they're tightened. If they're reused, they can break. Here are the torque specs and the tightening sequence for the bolts. And a quick trick for those that have watched this far, the valve cover bolts, especially the lower ones, tend to corrode if you live in an area with salt in the winter. Before I put mine back on, I cleaned them with some sandpaper and oil. Then I put grease on the shank of the bolts. Hopefully this will prevent the bolts from breaking if the valve covers ever need to come off in the future. As always, thanks for watching. I would really appreciate a thumbs up. If you aren't a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to check back for more videos.